Today we got a 2015 Toyota Prius and we had a message that came up on the dash. This is that message. It's the message is basically telling you that, hey, you got a high voltage battery that's not at the right temperature. And it's air cooled, it's not liquid cooled on this Prius. So you don't have to worry about it being something like low coolant. It's being air cooled, you do need to worry about airflow. And there's a lot of YouTube videos that talk about um, dog hair, cat hair getting caught in the air inlet vents, which I'm going to show you what that looks like in a second here. This isn't that video. The vents were full of dog and cat hair, the air inlet vent at the C pillar. But after doing that, we still had a message. Um, customer drove a few hundred miles for a week and that message never went away. They tried the one YouTube advice and that was to perform the maintenance reset or a battery disconnect. Neither of those worked. So the maintenance reset trick did not get rid of the message and the battery disconnect for an hour did not get rid of the message about high voltage cooling system performance. So at that point, here's that, that air inlet by the passenger rear seat. And in case you're ever wondering what that that was for that's the air inlet system for the high voltage battery so i i made this diagram here this is what it looks like in the rear luggage area trunk basically you take your covers off you gain access to it once the trim's removed and the blue lines that's where the air comes in uh, then it goes to the white blower motor that blower motor is controlled by our hybrid control module so it's not just power and ground it's a multitude of wires and that air gets pushed into the high voltage battery pack, which I believe this one's nickel metal hydride. There's your safety plug. So if you're not familiar with working on a high voltage system and you're not aware of the risks involved, you should probably you know take a minute and think about what you're doing so you don't kill yourself. Anyways, so I, I've removed the blower motor and the ducts and I want to show you what it looks like. That's the outlet duct, the hot air that exits the battery pack. The bottom of the battery pack right here is what comes in after the blower motor. It basically pushes the air into the bottom and then the air ends up coming out, making a U-turn coming out through the top duct which you're gonna see in a second here. So that's the air inlet after the blower motor. Air goes through the bottom of the battery pack. And now we're looking at the top of the battery pack. This is where the air is gonna come out. Once it's heated up, we've grab grabbed our hot air from the hot battery pack. Blower motor is on, should be on and the air comes out. This is the outlet duct. I guess technically that could be clogged too, but there's a whole luggage floor that's covering the system. So you shouldn't really have anything like luggage stopping the flow on this side of it, since it's all protected pretty well. Now the air travels under the luggage floor inside the panels and then out different areas, but that that grill you just saw by the tail lamp housing, that's where I think a lot of the air exits, the hot air. Um, that's just my guess, so. All right, so I've, I've plugged in the scan tool here. This is a launch scan tool. You can get it on Amazon, eBay, maybe even Harbor Freight, I don't know, but it's a popular scan tool along with Autel, and it's a dealer scan tool alternative works really well um, they're about one to two thousand to start a good one if you do it every day is probably a few thousand so now I've plugged in I've gone to the hybrid control module on the scan tool and I'm going to activate so we're going to activate the high voltage battery pack blower motor on this Now, I chose to look at data 
because you know I want to see what's happening when I turn this fan on. There's a lot of information that you can look at, a lot of data you can look at, and this is all in the hybrid control module under system selection on the scan tool. So I'm clicking on pulling fan. looking at motor generator one and two. Those are gonna be in the transaxle under the hood. Um, those are your electric motors that are gonna generate power and also turn the wheels up front to move the car. You really don't need to look at inverter temp and motor generator temp all you're really worried about is looking at your three temperature sensors on the high voltage battery pack, which is right here, temp, TB1, TB2, TB3. And fan, cooling fan data. So now I'm in act actuation mode. Again, this is under hybrid control module actuation tests. I'm choosing the highest speed to turn on the blower motor on the high voltage battery. I listen for any air moving. I hear it come on, but it shuts off immediately every five seconds and it doesn't come back on. So I'm going to actuate it on different speeds here and every speed comes on for a few seconds and just shuts off just like that that's not normal you should be able to run this fan motor a lot longer than that now I will say I have no trouble codes so there's no trouble codes that are indicating any type of issue so a lot of these YouTube videos are talking about you know, taking care of the airflow restriction, but none of them seem to really properly tell you how to get rid of the message about your cooling system performance of your battery pack. One video showed resetting the oil life system, and I'm not, I'm not at all sure how that was even supposed to work, but maybe it worked for him on a different model. Maybe it was coincidence, but I did try the normal. I tried clearing codes in every module even though there were no codes other than that passenger door module code that you might have seen, but no, that didn't help. Battery disconnect didn't help. So what I ended up doing here is I put it in maintenance mode, and I'll show you how I did that. So under hybrid control module, I went to special function, and I put it in check mode DTC. DTC stands for uh, trouble codes basically so it says right there this mode is to increase the possibility of trouble code detection during duplication testing so this is one reason I really I'm a huge fan of Toyota when it comes to their diagnostics um, you know there's not too many car companies that actually make your trouble code monitor sensitivity higher so it's easier to set a code. So I'm a real, I want to really say thank you to Toyota for that capability. So what I've done is I put it into a check mode and I just accidentally clicked on inspection mode here so disregard that but once you cycle the key, which is what I had done, it basically is going to take it out of check mode. 
so you don't really need to exit it with you know clicking on the scan tool but you do need the scan tool to enter check mode maintenance mode and this is not maintenance oil change maintenance this is a totally different thing so as far as I can see it you need a scan tool that can put you into a check mode like I just did and that process with even though there's no codes I cycled the key and the I now got rid of the message about cooling system performance on the dash. That was the only way I could find to get rid of that message, short of replacing maybe a hybrid control module, which I can totally see a shop replacing that module for a hefty price because they didn't know how to get rid of that message even though the airflow restriction was fixed. They got the cat hair, dog hair out of the vent. So now just to prove it, I want to show you. I went back and I actuated the cooling fan for the high voltage battery pack. 